Welcome to Dunway College of Technology. It's Mechanical Engineering 2240, Mechanics and Materials. We're doing problem 954 from Hibbler. I'm asked to draw a Morse circle for each of these states of stress. So in A, we have sigma x is positive 800 psi, sigma y is negative 600 psi, and we have no shear. In B, we have a compressive sigma y, 2 ksi, no sigma x, no shear. And in C, we have only shear of 20 megapascal, and that's positive. So we're going to start out with part A. So we have sigma x is 800 psi, sigma y, negative 600 psi. So we need to find our center point. And that's at sigma average and zero, 800 plus negative 600 over two, this is 100 PSI. So there you have our center point. That's the first bit we need. R is gonna be our radius. So in this scenario, it's going to be uh, the distance from either of these since we don't have any shear in this point. So R is going to be 800 minus 100, 700 PSI. So our circle, sigma x, and we have positive tau xy here. So we're going to be at 100 and 0. Get out here, this is 800 and 0. That's also labeled as point A. Let me sketch that out. Not the worst circle I've ever seen. So that should be 700 down there, negative 700 up there. This should be negative 600 over there. So there's our bit, and this is at theta equals zero, right? So we're right there at theta there. For part B, that was part A. Part B, sigma x equals zero, sigma y equals negative two ksi, tau xy equals zero. So B. So here our center. Negative one KSI R is going to be one KSI tau XY sigma X and maybe do that a little small. But there's negative 2 KSI, that's our A, here is R is 1 KSI, so tau XY max 1 KSI, and then we'll move on to the last one. So the last one we have here, now we have part C, and I'll have to move down a little bit here, but I'll, I'll just write down, try to make it so I can see it later here. Sigma x equals sigma y equals zero, and tau xy is positive 20 megapascal. All right, so for this one, part C, what do we know? Sigma average, zero. So our center is going to be right there. R is 20 megapascal. So here's tau xy sigma x. And it's going to be down there 20 megapascal. And we'll draw that around. So here's point A there. And we're at 20 megapascal 
there. 20 megapascal here. And there, there we are. So again, these weren't super complicated ones. It was nice that we had only one type of stress. We didn't have shear and normal stress. If we had both, it would be a little more complicated. But it gives you an idea of how we can form more circle for these types of problems.